Hello. Welcome. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the main event. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's fun, fun, fun. Give us one sec. Yes. You should all be getting alerts. I am going to go update a well, few links. I see one alert popped up. All right. Here we go. And we're going to jump right in. We have so much to show you guys. I'm waiting for my my video to pop up. I think that's coming. It's coming. Let's see. Is that it? I think that's it. There it is. We'll just push that over real fast. Hello, everybody. Donna, Carol, Jamie, uh, Misty, Jill, Melissa, Lisa, Lauren. I know I'm going to miss. I'm sorry. Fatima, Beverly, Angela, Midge, Front Porch. I like that name. Here we go. Hello. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. So, oh, my gosh. So oh. busy. Um, we, first of all, want to say welcome mm -hmm. and give you a heads up that this will be the last time you see us on this channel for about three weeks. We'll explain at the end of the video why. Mm -hmm. So if you want to know, stay till then. But today's video is all about... 651 Vinyl. Yes. So this past few days, we had the privilege of going down to Louisville. Am I saying that right? Louisville. Louisville. I don't There's know. no E. There's Louisville. 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 <laughs> so we had the privilege of going to the warehouse and we wanted to give you a quick recap. And then also we have some goodies here we oh, want to okay. show off and I've done some projects and stuff. Sean is going to be monitoring mm -hmm. uh, questions. You should be over a little bit more. I'm going to move this camera. So we go back to the title screen really quick, yeah. Sean, so I can move that camera to where it's more on us. So you don't have to move over as much. Right there should be. There fine. you go, Shawnee. All right. All right. So Sean will be monitoring all of your guys' questions. Make sure they're all in caps. So if you are not familiar with uh, 651vinyl.com, they are a wonderful company. We were invited to actually uh, their employee craft night. Mm -hmm. And while we were there, of course, we got to meet the owners, Troy mm -hmm. and Tammy, and mm -hmm. just kind of talk with them. But first and foremost, let me tell you, if you have not seen our video showing you the warehouse tour, I've given you the link down below. This will mm -hmm. take you over to Facebook, our Facebook page where we did that tour. I had no idea the size of this operation. <laughs> oh, I know. Um, I think Troy's here. Hi, Troy, too. If you're, if you're here, hi, Troy. That's Troy right there, Troy, too. Oh, there it is. Um, so, Louisville. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Louisville. I don't know. Um, so when we got there, first and foremost, I would like to say that um, they have a golden retriever. Mm -hmm. So they're Molly. winners in my heart. <laughs> um, this is a huge facility. And essentially what they specialize in is what their name is, 651 Vinyl, uh, which is you're thinking of Oracle, uh, Caesar, Caesar. Uh, Starcraft, uh, Tools. I mean, so, yeah, so much, much stuff. But... In my mind, I'm envisioning a little warehouse, Troy picking the orders, putting a label on, and shipping it. Kind of like my Jasmine. They kind of did that back in the day about three years ago. Correct. <laughs> but This company now has over 100 employees. Mm -hmm. Forget the square footage of the warehouse. That one is 22,000, and there are, I think he was supposed to sign the lease today. I don't one... know if that's public knowledge, Jonathan I McCoy. think it was. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry this is why name. he cannot be on live videos. <laughs> so anyways. Anyway, sorry. Jeez Louise, now we feel like we should end and restart a video. I'm embarrassed. This is why <laughs> Sorry, I can't Troy. have him on live videos, anyone. So anyways, we got to take a peek at the entire facility. It is a huge facility and there is a ton of stuff there. What I really wanted to say about the facility is how it's laid out. It's ingenious. One section of it, there is, how big are the vinyl rolls? Uh, of I know, I know, uh, I know the Caesar is 59 inches long and 50 yards long or 59 wide and 50 yards yes. long. So all of them come in these huge boxes. Mm -hmm. They will eventually go to an area where they are sheeted, right? Or cut in. Yeah. They're cut to size, either 12 by 12, 12 by or uh, 12 by five feet. 12, 12 inches by and usually. by that and so some more other ones. Then they go on baker racks with what are ready to be picked. 
Then an order comes in, it goes in a tray. They have people on an assembly line grabbing the orders, which then eventually go to the shipping area. You have people shipping it, putting candy in it. I mean, it's just a fine tune operation. I was so impressed. It was a great environment. It's family ran, which is awesome mm -hmm. because it has a good family feel. Yep. Their employees are so much fun. Yes. They laugh, they get stuff done. There's attention to detail. Mm -hmm. I was just completely impressed and blown away. Yep. So first and foremost, take a, take a peek at that, that uh, uh, tour because it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I've actually never toured a warehouse like this. Mm -hmm. I've never seen, no. you know, for example, a cricket or a silhouette warehouse or anything. And this one here is obviously in the United States. So it was great to go and actually see that and see something that was built from the ground right. up. Now, <clears throat> with that said, I am gonna do a couple projects that of their, their product that really jumped out at me. Mm -hmm. Now, I've used Oracle and Caesar before. I love their products. They have every color you can think of here. Mm -hmm. They even have specialty patterns that they have graphic designers actually making, and they can actually print them in-house, which is pretty impressive. We'll show you this one here. There's actually a few here. Let me grab, and then we'll get going on the projects, and Sean okay. can show you some more stuff. But that was something else that was kind of cool was their ability to print directly there on site. So he said this one, I believe, is the one that's coming out like soon, like if within this week or next week. Yeah. And so then this is this beautiful hyper color lemon orange patterns. We have a tie dye pattern. That's beautiful. We have this army and this is all an Oracle camo camo. Now, because they own and made their own designs, they even have it on Caesar. So it's all right there. They can actually design it right there, which is absolutely wonderful. Um, so we're talking, they had a ton of di different printable designs there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move all this out of the way. Okay. And so that the whole tour part of it was just mind boggling, but they also have tools. They have, um, just it's so much. So we're going to quickly show you some of the tools I'm going to be using. I'm going to start weeding a project out of the Starcraft and then Sean's going to show you mm -hmm. all what those come in. Um, I'm going to show you some of my favorite things that I found, um, that I've been pretty impressed with. And once again, the links are down below. Now I do have to uh, disclose those links are an affiliate link. So if you use these links, 651 vinyl is compensating us. However, it doesn't change our opinion. Mm -hmm. um, if we don't like something, we're pretty upfront and honest about it. And um, so that doesn't change it. But the stuff we're showing, showing you today, if you watched any of my videos this weekend, you'll know exactly what I'm gonna show you. So yep. blown it away by awesome, it. Awesome, so, awesome, awesome. So first of all, let's go ahead and go to the camera here and I'm gonna show yep. you a couple things here. So let's talk about this little guy. Oh, this is awesome. So this, if you have not seen it, Sean might have to um, go in a little bit closer. Sure can. This here is called the Pen Pen Weeding Tool. That's I-N-E-N. -E so Pen Pen mm -hmm. Weeding Tool. Now, this is looks like an ordinary writing pen, but when I push it, you're going to see this really, really, really fine. It is so hard to see. It, is it doesn't look like much, but it's got a powerful punch. It's now, solid stainless steel. It's not hollow. It should not break. Correct. Now, this thing here, most people, because we, we're used to other tools, we, we're used to just stabbing and doing this. Mm -hmm. You almost want to use this at a little bit of an angle and it's going to grab your vinyl and you just lift it right up. So just like that, I'm able to weed this off. Now I know all of you people out there that love strips. Don't look, this is a waste of vinyl. Mm -hmm. Don't look. You have a couple that are still on there. Oh, thanks. Your, uh, one there and one there. Oh, my Cricut maker blade needs to be changed. Thanks, Time Sonny. to change Good job. it. Yes. You're so good that you caught that. And he did a live saying that he signed it. So Oh, we're good. good. So we're good. I don't have to fire Sean is what you're telling me, Troy, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> because he's Mr. Leaky Secret here. So, all right, guys. So here is the this. I have to say now for those of you and, and Troy actually does have this on his site. This is the, the one that you guys have probably all seen me seeing. This is the Caesar. Now, uh, the reason I've always liked this is because of the weight and it's very good. One thing I don't like about this is the angle of this. 
it's great because it, it for this but at times this angle can be a little cumbersome and I'm constantly when I am weeding hitting my finger with this what I like about this is it truly is a pen so it's a push away so when I'm not using it it's not for example here's out now it's in and I'm weeding it's I'm not gonna hurt myself because mm -hmm. it, I've been able to put that blade away now yep. is this blade is this, you know, the needle on the sharp? Absolutely. Oh, yes. If this was to drop on the ground and hit your bare foot, it's going to stick directly up in that. So I already know what you guys are asking. I'm all, I got you. Does it come in other colors? Why? Yes, it does. Don't you worry. They've thought of everything. I know Crickets is asking how much the pin pen, um, if Troy's in there, he would know. I don't know what I'm talking I have the, the link down below. It's under the tool section. Yep. So here's just some of the colors that we have. So um, this was actually designed by Mr. Troy himself. And I have to say it is very well thought designed mm -hmm. product. It is very sharp. It should not, as long as you care for it, um, you should get a lot of life out of it. Okay, so I'm gonna put those off to the side. I'm also gonna show you this. Now this thing here is hilarious. <laughs> So when Sean got this, he had no idea what it was. Yeah. We won't tell you what Sean said it was. Um, I The only reason I knew what this was is I had seen a couple of YouTube videos with mm -hmm. this. This is great. Usually when I weed, I, I weed and I would put it on my fingers or off to the side. Essentially, this is to catch all of your weeding. So if you were to weed something, let's grab our pen pen and... Let's grab, oh, did I not cut this one? Oh no, I did. So if you had a little tiny piece, we'll use it again, obviously, because I do need these. We're gonna use this in a project. But if we have a little tiny piece here, now grant you this would be easier if I was weeding the right way. This is what that's for. You just pop it in there and you're good right. to go. See, just like that. I'm gonna put this over here because I will be using that. Um, but this is great. Once again, uh, they have already thought of everything. And what do you mean by that? Well, what if you want this to match this? Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I know mm -hmm. you, I know people out there want all their tools to match. I get it. Somebody wants seven of them. Yes. And <laughs> they even have 651 vinyl. And what are these, Sean? These are the uh, squeegees. To squeegees. Put scrapers. On. Yes. Scrapers, squeegees. And like... what? Look at that. It's like Troy has a wife and is a crafter himself that wants things to match. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so those are some of the favorite things that I found right there. The last thing is this. Now these aren't just tweezers. I'm gonna leave some of them in the package, but once again, um, they come in all the colors to match. These are called stab and go tweezers. Stab and and go. literally it is just that. They come with a little cover. Do not lose this because these are extremely sharp. You can see. Stab and go. So that these are really sharp, but they're really good tweezers. Once again, everything to match. And you want to keep this right there to keep that nice mm -hmm. and safe. Has the 651 vinyl. Great stuff. So while we were there, we made a wide variety of items. Uh, but some of our favorites, of course, uh, is these two here. These are just little koozies we made with. Although you can't use that word. Oh, sorry. These are beer mug beer, can holders. Beer can coolers. <laughs> coolers. Oh, geez. Aluminum can holder coolers. Yes. Something like that. All right. You can go back up to us real All quick. Right. So I am going to start my first project. So when we were at the warehouse, um, I was obviously overstimulated because, mm -hmm. first of all, it smells amazing because it's vinyl. And I'm walking <laughs> around and there is so much to see and so much. It's just things are happening there's candy so that was never good for Ken and so but when we went down this one aisle we saw this vinyl that just jumped out at us oh, and yes. it is called Starcraft. now Starcraft. I have never used this stuff this is new to me but it's literally amazing the weird thing about it is I have seen this before but because it was on the internet and I couldn't 
see it in person, it didn't scream at me as much as in person. In fact, we tried taking photos of it and we couldn't. The only way we could show you this was by using Boomerang to try to show you. Give you that effect, yes. Yes, so I'm gonna start waiting to get the first project using this stuff mm -hmm. done. And Sean is going to show you all the different colors. And if I could have Troy watch me, if I mispronounce it or give it the wrong name, please just say what it really is. But I think I know what most of the stuff is, I think. You think? I think. All, All right, Sonny, you so go I'm at gonna, it. Have so fun. I'm going to go down below here. The color, he might not know the exact name. The exact name uh, or color, and let me also... But I also... have linked everything down below for them. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. So this is um, their, what they call their brushed metals. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, you've seen stuff like that before. It's got that brushed effect, and this is the gold. Here's the silver. This stuff is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. This one is, as Troy puts it, his favorite. This is the, I believe, the Impressions. Um, I forget the actual name name. Troy, if you could help me out with this one. I know this, remember, we're gonna have a little bit of some time delay. Um, I think this is the silver. And you can see the, the difference. My mic is not working, make sure it's still on. Okay, hold on. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, um, are you out of batteries? No, I'm fine. We're doing something quite a little different. If you're a mono and you only hear him, I'm actually a right sided and he's a left sided. So I'm going to change that. We we're hoping that maybe that will be, I don't know. It all depends on if you have a mono speaker or, or stereo speakers or even headphones. I'm a left or I'm a right and he's a left. I think and that's probably why. Why did you so, do that? Uh, we're trying to see if it sounds better. Oh, well, then are, is that was why people can't hear only, us? There was only one person that said it. Oh, okay. Okay. This is the brushed rose gold, I believe, or pink. I think this is the rose gold or pink. I'm not real sure on the on that altogether, but it's gorgeous. Then they have a chrome version of that. So this is chrome. Spectrum. Thank you, Troy. Spectrum was that one. Here's another chrome, a red chrome, silver, gold. I would call this magenta, but it could be slightly different, but it's absolutely beautiful. Blue, I love blue. Another color I love is purple, look at this. Think of cutting this stuff out and using it, oh my goodness. Now, the other one was the Impressions. This one is the gold version. So it's got more gold in it versus the silver. Same thing with more of a blue hue. Here is the kind of a rose gold or pink, depending on how you look at it. it might be rose gold. This is the gunmetal one. And I think that's the one you're using over there weeding, I believe is, it is, is that. So he's actually, the one he's weeding is this one. Now we're getting into the more, and Troy, if you could help me out, uh, you said this was magic, the magic one? Those are magic, yes. So these are the magics. Here's gunmetal magic. So there is, when you go to the site, you're gonna see that there, these come in 12 by 12 or 12 by 24, mm -hmm. and you're gonna see that they are um, under metal and magic. And magic is just that, it's kind of a holographic. Yes. And then the metals have that metal finish, like yeah. Sean said. So here's the gold version of that. Wow. This pink, oh my goodness, look at how, look at this. I know TV is not the best thing in the world, but by the naked eye, it is gorgeous. And I know said somebody said about the um, sample keychain thing that you get, which is this here. They stamp these all out. They uh, There's a person in the on the floor that stamps that all these cool. out. And there's a great cool machine. They, they said they can make, uh, I don't know what the number was, it was just incredibly fast. Um, as they're doing rolls of it. It's like they're left over five, it's like five inches that are left over and they use those to make these. And I believe, yes, what you're seeing here is there because there is that one right there. So yes, they do have that on their key. Here's orange, green. These things are just outstandingly bright and brilliant. I think that's rose gold, red. Orange, I believe this is purple, kind of a light blue, 
Some people may call this diamond or white or even just silver. Which one? I'm not this one here on top. I think oh, it might okay. be silver. Here's a darker blue. Now this one, now the ones we're getting into now, so you can almost see how, and let me get it up close, how large the reflective material is. It's kind of a large reflection type material, right? These next ones, Troy, if you can help me out, is almost the same. Might be a slightly different name, but it's a lot smaller. It's almost like glitter, but it's a lot smaller of the, of the reflective material. And he and is he, right. Even on video, it's it's hard to mm -hmm, to really justify do just, what I know. on these because and for, they are so in person. Like they're it, brilliant. I'll be honest, I would have never bought these on a website mm -hmm. had I not seen them in person. I know. Uh, yes, these are adhesive film signs, and uh, these things. Yes, they do sell these. So if you want one, so you can look through on which one. I believe they're 895. Uh, Try, I think you can. And what's cool on that is, um, if you're trying to do a project, you have it. Then they also have it for their regular Caesar. They have it for the Oracle, so that way you can see, okay, what color mm -hmm. do I need? So what's really cool on the back, which we have, which the, we have the the ones over there underneath that. You can see those are the non. So if they want to see all the different colors they carry yeah. and stuff, you can just kind of. So you can do that, and what's cool is on the back they have a QR code. So if that's something you want, you can take your phone and go blink. And of course it tells you exactly what it is. This one is the StarCraft the Spectrum Gold. So there's the Spectrum, which is the kind of the first gold we saw. Uh, for those um, on you, uh, Troy's on YouTube and I know we've got Facebook people watching and chiming in and I'm sorry, I'm hoping somebody's uh, answering on that side too. We'll but do answering we'll, questions. We'll try too. our best. Anyway, we were at gold, and these are called. I just saw him say it. Ba, 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 ba. You have a keychain there. These are uh, deceit glitter. D e c e i t you glitter. You have a keychain with all. Of them. I do, but it'd be terrible to find it. So the light blue, the so gunmetal, rose gold. Whoops, I think I have two. Rose gold, the silver, possibly white or diamond. Some people like to call it. There is a true name in it. True color. They're pink and they're orange. Now this is one of their metals. See if I can, all right, let me see if I can find the name of it. Give me a second to flip through it. This one should be easy because it's like right there. I saw it one time like, boom, there it is. There it is, here it is. The next one is gonna be this one here. This is the next one we're gonna see. And they call this one Diamond Plate Chrome. It's by StarCraft, of course. Here's a full, here's a full 12 by 12 sheet. People know that uh, that uh, diamond uh, is what you like to see on toolboxes on the back of trucks and even bumpers and stuff like that. All right, these are called StarCraft Magic. This one is the blue. Well, let me give you what it does. This is really cool. Of these course, are awesome. Yeah, and he is actually... Um, you know, TV doesn't do it justice. He's actually got uh, a couple colors of this, but not the blue. Or maybe you're doing the blue, I don't know. Do uh, go left to right instead of the best way to get this on camera. Yeah. There you go. Of course, our lights don't have it. So it's just so reflective. I mean, it's so impressive. Yeah. Here's their red, the orange. Some of these are called fluorescents, but uh, this might be the fluorescent pink. I would have to look back, but this I know is fluorescent orange because I'm looking right at it. Fluorescent green, gunmetal, rose gold as soon as I can grab it. There we go, rose gold. A light blue. Now these look like, hold on one moment. I think it's this one right here. I think these might be deceits again. Probably. Yeah, these are deceits and I think these are just some other colors. Red, purple, fluorescent green. The fluorescent orange or orange. 
blue. I know it's got a crease in that, but that's because I think you lifted it by accident. I did. That's All my right, fault. now here are the ones that are like... My favorite. Holy cow, my favorite too, because these are, are awesome by the naked eye. TV might catch a little bit of it. These are called, if I can find it on my keychain. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Where are they, where are they? Can't find it. What are you looking for? The name, I think it's on that one. Is it on that one? Yeah, they're right There's here. There's one, one keychain has it and the other one didn't. It's these. Okay, so these that we're about to see are called Illusion from StarCraft. This one is their pink. Now this is the one that I shared if you follow me on in, or on uh, Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. These are the ones we shared in the uh, boomerang. Yes, so th we did this in the boomerang. And what's funny is that you can see a couple dots in the background and when you, depending on how you move it, they come together and then they split apart. This one's their pink. And then the, the grid is three dimensional. It's like it's above, it's like on the surface, in the middle, and down deep. Here's the orange. The fluorescent green. Again, every once in a while you'll pick it up just right. But if you saw this by the naked eye, you would understand what exactly what this does, and it's just like wow. Gold, gunmetal. You can see it's funny, it's like here it's dark, and as soon as you move it, the blue, the red, the yellow, orange, blue, light blue, dark blue, purple, it's all in there. Here's their fluorescent orange. No, and it's important to note that this stuff is vinyl, not HTV. Mm -hmm. So vinyl, um, so you're going to be using this. I saw a lot of people use it, because I asked people, what did you use it on? And I saw people exactly like Sean said, they started putting it yep. on their cars because of the gunmetal and yeah. stuff. And it's absolutely because it, it, it catches your eye. Yeah, so this is the blue, and then, yes, these are uh, adhesive, adhesive, not HTV. It'd be kind of where, it, it would be hard to do this on, in, I mean, if you made it in HTV, it's like, well, what would you do with, you know? Oh what, cause my once, gosh, you could do so much with this. If this it would have HTV. something, some with blocks or something like that. It'd, oh, it'd, just, you know, I mean, think of people who put rhinestones on their shirts. Oh, there you go. So that's so the rose much. gold, the, the silver, the light blue, and last but not least, red. So this is all their StarCraft. It's fabulous stuff. Yes. So while he was showing you all that, and I'm not going to finish it by any means, but I will be posting on Facebook a little bit later. Here is what I've been working on. So obviously this is a Eva and Wally. This is actually a file I have for my patrons. Now the reason I wanted to show you this as I w was weeding it is number one, this is great for, you can see just that rainbow you're getting in there of color. So this is great for items that have a metallic sheen. Um, this is going to be multi-layers with different colors on the light bulb. So I will share it on Facebook when I'm done with it. So um, a couple of things that I've learned with this. So when I first got this, I went to cut it on my maker and um, I picked vinyl just to test it and it cut through, but I noticed, and you can see on a couple, let's see if I can show you here. Actually, no, it did pretty good, but there was some times where it felt like it almost catched. So I was like, okay, maybe, you know, I didn't cut it deep enough. So all I did is when I put this into my maker, I still chose vinyl and I just hit, there's a drop down box that says less or more. I just hit more and it perfect, mm -hmm. absolutely perfect. Um, so it's, it's a thicker than a regular vinyl in a way, uh, but because it's got this metallic sheen to it, uh, let me show you kind of here. It's a little bit, uh, I don't want to say like aluminum. Can you go to this camera? Yes, yeah, you can. Um, it's, I don't want to say like aluminum foil, but it's, it's got a little bit of uh, a foiledness to it. So when you are lifting it up, the cuts on it and stuff, uh, you just want to make sure they're clean cut so you don't accidentally rip it. That's right. So they do have on their keychain samples. This one is all the Oracle. So this is all the Oracle that they carry, 
all the colors of the rainbow and and then some and then some for sure okay people who work with this we have our friend Allie. she loves this stuff orders it all the time everything that's from starcraft here's one that's all starcraft so it's all there so it's very cool very very cool yes all right what are we doing next all right so you can go up to us for are you okay. still on us or nope, i can right now all right all right now we're back we're back where'd we go all right so the next thing is once again um this is the first time i've really played with any of this starcraft material and i've been pretty impressed with it um while i was there the number one thing i've been hearing from a lot of people is where's you know print then cut print then cut is huge and so i asked her i said well do you offer a print then cut and he says we do carry starcraft's print then cut and so i took some of it home and tried it and let me show you uh what it is because it's a little different than i've seen at other places so we'll go to this uh screen again mm -hmm. so this is the starcraft this is the print then cut so right here, you have the StarCraft print and cut. This is normal print and cut. You would uh, design any of your favorite programs. You're going to hit print and cut. You put it in with a standard inkjet printer. When you look at it, it is very nice, durable. It says StarCraft on the back. So this is the side that you're going to print on. But the difference that I've never seen is StarCraft also, I'll put this off to the side and do mm -hmm. it, carries this, which are a matte and glossy UV laminate that goes over this. So this basically will protect your printable adhesive vinyl design um, with UV. So this way it doesn't get harmed by the ultraviolet light sources and stuff like that. So um that doesn't mean it's it can be used in a microwave or dishwasher this is seriously if you have it let's say on a tumbler or something and you mm -hmm. have it outside sometimes unfortunately if you were to take printable vinyl normally and put it outside and it's directly in let's say where the sun sets it's going to fade after time sure um so we went ahead and tried this out so here it is printed out here are my turtle friends. You guys know me. So I went ahead and printed this out on for my iPad cover here. And I'm going to be putting it on here. So this is a typical print then cut. Um, very, very easy. Very nice. And it went through my printer just fine. So there is different printers. I would always say to, t to test it out. But you can see it went through and the cut was just fine on this it's pretty look at this oops i just oh. cut his head off but that's my fault not the stuff but it's pretty durable stuff it's not going to um sometimes when you get this it easily use my pen pen tool there in that tight corner um so i'm not gonna put this one on my ipad because i just ripped it because i really am gonna put this on my ipad but i want to show you what i'm doing here this way i can know who's is who's without opening it <laughs> correct that's why i'm doing it but it weeds beautifully um, the only thing that I saw when I first played with this was your tight little corners. So what I mean by that is I would avoid doing intricate stuff with this. So really tiny intricate stuff that you are afraid, um, because not that it wouldn't do it. You're just going to have to be very careful on the weeding as you saw. Mm -hmm. Um, it got caught up a little bit on some of these little tight corners, but you just grab your pen pen and just get in there and it will let go of it. But if you're doing something pretty intricate, uh, it might struggle with that just a little bit. Yep. I know some people wanted to see it again. So like Troy was saying that on your swatches, let's say you found one that you wanted. Let's say we wanted this one right here, the silver illusion or uh, magic, sorry. It's called Mystique Silver. So there is a nice little QR code right there take your phone put it on there and it'll take you exactly to the uh, site for that one right there so it makes it so much faster and easier to order it's a perfect way of doing it it is the perfect way of doing it that's what you get when you have uh, a boss who is uh, big into IT because he used to work in IT yes all <laughs> right so here instead of you can put um, the the laminate here is the I did the um, the, uh, the the mat. You can put it on 
on the print and cut and then cut it. But for me, it was easier just to do a print and cut and then we're gonna apply it on here. Now, you don't have to do this unless you want that protection of having it. Uh, but here's the thing on this that we learned our lesson on just by playing with it. What was our lesson we learned, Sean? On the, on the this cut? This is the, the laminate, the UV All UV mat. safe mat. So I, let me go show you what I did. Mm -hmm. Ken, oh, Sean probably threw it away. What did I throw away? It's okay. So you can go back up to us really quick. Sure? Okay. So in my infinite wisdom, I'm used to, and I'm not saying anything bad about other products, but I'm used to products that say, oh, it's super sticky and it's not. So I went to <laughs> peel my matte uh, UV laminate to put it on the turtles and then have it cut. And it caught a little piece of the paper and just went, and I said, oh, I'll just lift it. No. It is donezo. It's, so when it's on there, it's on there. So which is cool. Yeah, it is very you cool. You want it that but way. But you so. want to make sure when you're doing this that you get all the air bubbles out. You're very careful when positioning it. You can do it a couple different ways. They have amazing tutorials. Uh, Starcraft has a YouTube channel. It's a pretty mm -hmm. small YouTube channel, but I found it. And um, they have a website, and they have great, really easy to watch tutorials on all of their products. Mm -hmm under three, two minutes and stuff. Yep. I'm just getting all my last little bits and pieces. So somebody's here. asking, it would be Fatima, can the um, Patreon group get this file of the turtles? Oh, I can. It's definitely not my design. No. Uh, this is a Google image, but yeah, I'll do it. It's just a PNG vinyl. And we'll just show you where you can find it. Yeah. But uh, my Patreon, yes, I will upload it. The Wally one our Patreons for sure can get. Uh, I just got done uploading a ton of designs, I think on Thursday. <laughs> What's that? On Thursday? Oh, yeah. Okay, you can so. go back to oh, us. Right. We are on So us. now remember, oh, you're on this? No, you're not. You're on us. Right. Nice. Oh, sorry. So now remember, I uh, ripped off, which one is that? Is that Leonardo? Uh, you're the one that knows who who is. I'm the one that gets mixed up on who's, wh who's who. Yes, that's Leonardo, because Donatello has the other ones. Mm -hmm. So the big thing on this is you want to be careful on air bubbles. And this is a pretty big one. Yes, Sean. So you just said you had something on your wrist and you do. Oh, thanks. Whoever said that? That would have been uh, crickets. Crickets? crickets? Oh. Crickets nature. Yep. So essentially you don't have to do this. This is just if you want to protect UV. And you're just gonna to wanna to be very careful when pos positioning this. This is a pretty big piece. I ultimately would recommend putting it on first and then cutting it with your machine. Um, and I figured out that the way for me to do that, I just wanted to show you what this does, just so you guys can see. But it's, the reason I say be careful is if you do this and lay it down on this and try to lift it up, it's going to take that finish of that off. Yep. So you, that's why you want to be really careful. You don't want any ripples, any of that stuff. So it's easier, in my opinion, to put it on first lay. The reason why I think that Starcraft doesn't recommend this is you're going to go through a lot more of that design. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to waste a lot and stuff. But see what's going to happen if you don't get this just right like I did. See, that's why you don't want to do it this way. Can they see that or no? Let me zoom in a little bit. There see? You go. So it's better to put it on first and then cut it or even after the fact um but what this will do no bubbles you want to make sure you get bubbles out is it's going to give you a nice protection from that uv light and i found by doing it uh with the machine you can go back up to us Sean, sure can. but by doing it with the machine i found it was a lot easier to lay it than the other way yep. once again you can do this on on starcraft's uh youtube video you can see all of this mm -hmm. But in my opinion, it worked a lot better, but it was harder for me to show you guys because the machine is doing all of the work and stuff. Do test it though. You have to have to test this because if you choose, let's say Cricut, if you're using the Maker Cricut uh, printable vinyl, their vinyl is a lot thinner. I don't know if you've ever used their vinyl or it's almost like a sticker paper, I'd say. Yeah. And so you might have to make some adjustments and stuff like that. But I do like the fact that I've never seen something and you can probably see it really good with this. This is the matte, there is a high gloss, but I've never seen something like that that has that. I know, that's awesome. So, which is great because let's say, uh, you know, I'm constantly getting stuff on my iPad. Mm -hmm. You can wipe it off with this on it. It's not dishwasher safe, but a quick wipe yeah. where if you were to do that with a normal print and cut, you're going to smear it. Smear, and stuff. 
Some air is being And spared. you have both the mattes is what it will print in, but then you have the glossy UV and the matte UV. Nice. Yeah. And if you need, you know, the squeegee to get your rebels up, that's what it's there for. There you go. So that was pretty, I was pretty impressed with that stuff because I'm pretty picky on my print than cuts. So that leads us to the next thing that I want to try out, which is their print then cut iron on. All right, Sean, I'm gonna have you show them these. Okay. There is green and red. Let's see if Sean was paying attention to me when we did these. <laughs> we will see, let me just zoom out a little we bit. We will here. see, he says. Do okay. you know what the difference is? All right. I will look real quick. One is for, which is this one here, this one that's in red and it even says right here at the top is for dark material. So anything that's probably not white or even probably bright, like a yellow or something, or even lot less color, you would use the other one. This is for all dark colored um, uh, and that's which fabrics. One? That is called Starcraft Dark Materials Inkjet Printables. So what's the other one for? The other one is for white or very light materials. Tells you right there. So now do I have to mirror this? If this is, if this, if this you do not mirror because you're actually printing the, the image right onto this material. So you, it will go right on without having to do any, you do not do a mirror. And it even tells you, ouch, do not mirror. See, do that's why mirror. this one's no good. No I bueno, know. he I got, just I got stabbed. <laughs> um, so that is yes and no. So there is one that you are going to need to mirror and the other one you are not going to need no, to mirror. Fair. So green, which is this one right here, you need to mirror your image because when we apply this, it's gonna go down like this, then we're gonna apply the heat. On this one, you're going to print right facing and you're not going to mirror it. It's just gonna so, go right on. Correct. Now. When printing this, before I weed and do all that stuff, I learned a valuable lesson. You're going to want to print a sample on your printer. Depending on your printer, um, I ran in, and I've always ran into this issue. It's not just with StarCraft. This is my issue with my printer. I have a rear uh, uh, feeder. Read feeder. Read feeder. Read feeder. Rear, rear feeder. There you yes, go. and I noticed right away it started making a weird sound. Sometimes on a printable iron-on, it's a lighter weight. And what it did to me is this. So essentially, it's trying to grab it and it gets jammed. Now, the easiest way to fix an issue like this, you can go in and play with your settings. There is different settings. But for me, the thing that's always been the easiest is literally grab a piece of uh, light cardstock tape it down and it will go through just fine. Mm -hmm. So if you have one that has issues with it going through like this, which obviously you do not want, nope. that's literally all we did and it solved it right away. Cool idea. It is, right? And it, that has been um, an issue I've had with every single one of these and stuff. So mm -hmm. you can go back up to us. What questions sure do we have while I weed? Well, let's see if I can do. Uh, I know Wanda just, I just saw one by Wanda. Do they offer print on laser printers? I do not have an answer to that. Um, I don't believe they do because laser printer would be, wouldn't that be sublimation or no? Uh, because it, it clearly says do not use it on um, laser printer. Mm -hmm. Man, this stuff's thin. That's awesome. Super thin. Wow, look at this. Super thin, super weed. Yeah. He's a weed material like. Look at this. Look, you can go to us just real quick and show how easy this weed, Sean. Can you show him? Oh, sure. Look my, at this. My fault. Look oh, yeah. at how easy this weeds. There you go. Annette O'Connell on the Facebook says, because uh, you were talking about um, your settings, if you choose cardstock backed with adhesive, on the maker, it cuts like butter. Cardstock back adhesive for which one? I'm not sure which one, but I th she answered. She I think she answered a question, and it may have been even us. I don't even know. Oh, I must have missed out on that. She uh, Carla Duke on Facebook said she watched our lives when we were over at over at uh, 651 Vinyl, and he said that we could probably just put the uh, adhesive right on our tumblers. So. <laughs> How would you do that? <laughs> so I don't know. 
Do you know what's so funny about Put that? Put it on. Uh, so we were in the warehouse and um, Leah was there, Griffin, for those of you who know Leah. And are you up on us? Because I have I to explain. This sure was so can. funny. So obviously for those of you who have seen our, um, our review of the spin it, does this work? We, or I should say I, am not a big fan of pummelers because they're messy, they got stuff everywhere, and I was sitting there thinking, I am never gonna, sorry, I got into weeding. Weeding can be very relaxing. Um, I said, I am never gonna do one, and when we were, um, sorry, I need to pay attention up here. I know. Uh, so when we were walking that, I was sitting there, and this one comes up, let me see, it was right, Where's the chunky ones? Right here. Near the back. So Lee is walking with me, taking a tour, and she sees this one, right? And look at how beautiful that is. And Thanks, I was Julie. like, oh my gosh. And I go, this looks just like tumblers. And she looks over at me and she's like, Ken, just cut this for your tumbler and stick it around. Done. Same Done. look. And I was like, that is ingenious. Ingenious. I'm going to do that because I so am I'm just not... wondering what would happen if you did put it on and if you need to like bend it down, if you heated it a oh, little I'm... bit. I don't maybe know. Maybe we do. I don't know. It, it was might just work. funny because yeah, I am not, you know, you guys know me. I'm just not a fan of that. So yeah. um, I'm not going to get out my easy press and, and press this. I will show you guys after the fact and on my YouTube channel or yep. I mean on Facebook um pressing it i did buy some shirts so we can test it and stuff mm -hmm. um i mostly just wanted to show you guys this product um the things i wanted to end with was a couple things number one i was thoroughly impressed with the customer service oh my god it's like the best yeah to the hear best. them and and work through problems um and i'll use one as an example someone had called in and was having problems with i believe Caesar. I could be wrong. They were having problems. This person did not buy it from 651 Vinyl. Mm -mm. They bought it from another company and they could not get a hold of that company. And their customer service spent almost, I want to say 20 minutes walking them through product that wasn't even purchased on their site. Nope. And when I asked Troy, well, why would you, why would you do that? They didn't buy it here. They don't even have a customer record here. And he says, because that's customer service. And if we help them and get them through that frustration, hopefully in turn, they'll buy their product from us in the future. And to me, that spoke volumes mm -hmm. because so many times when we do go to customer service, we can't get through to someone. Someone's not willing to be patient or help. So, and then just small touches. I know candy's not a big deal, but when we got a box sent to us from them, there was candy and I was so excited to have I my Smarties. To, I thought it was just because they know us and they did it, but I don't know. They do it to every single package. They have a ton of candy there. Yeah. And I ate probably close to 50 Smarties. When I was there. Shame on you. <laughs> so, um, so anyways, the customer service part of it was pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, I also have a big being a, from a management background at the bank. I have a firm believing if you take care of people, whether they be your employees or your customers, in return, they'll take care of you yep. and they will stay with you. And that is a way they run their business. They take care of the customers. They take care of their employees. Um, they had an employee night. They catered it in. They gave away free stuff. They had fun. Um, you know, you can tell when Troy was giving us a tour and talking to the employees, just the amount of pride that is taken there mm -hmm. and efficiency and stuff. So it was just really impressive. Yes. And I wasn't expecting that side of it. Um, so I'm very, very thankful we were there. I'm very thankful um, that we got that time there, even though it was really quick. Mm -hmm. uh, I can guarantee you, uh, if you order from them, you will get your shipping very quick very uh, quick that's what i'm saying about them troy has thought everything through to the point where basically i think sean was asking why did you choose to do it here you know wh why here and he literally looked and said the post office is this many feet away and which means we can get and i could be wrong i hope i'm not misquoting we can get a package to hawaii in three days two Three days max, I think. It's typically three because Hawaii. Yeah. It all oh, depends. Yeah. But everywhere else, 
if you order something on Saturday, they will end. Post office picks up on Saturday, Sunday, and All even on day. holidays. And depending on the time it's picked up and it's processed, because it doesn't go to a substation, it goes to the actual processing part, mm -hmm. that some people can order on Saturday and it'll be there on Monday. Yep. It's that fast. So, yeah, it's amazing. Troy does have a YouTube channel. It's, Koi, it's called Troy Tube. It is. And he it has is, is a wonderful. lot of great uh, videos, especially on um, Inkscape. Somebody asked on Facebook, and I know, and I think I should be able to answer this. Or yes, what is their, uh, what is their transfer type, transfer tape like? Transfer tape. We used, I think we did. We use that to. Oh, I know the the newbies did, because <laughs> they did transfer to put their stuff, uh, their vinyl, their cut vinyl on their things. And yes, they do have it. And it works really, really well. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to answer that incorrectly because I don't know if it's theirs or if it's a brand. Because um, I was, I'm going to be honest, you guys, when the part came for us to, to craft with the employees, I had so much fun just joking with them and playing with them and they all wanted to play with my fan because I had my fan. So I don't, they probably told me what it was and I wasn't paying attention, let's be honest. Um, so there is transfer tape, but mm -hmm. I don't remember whose brand it is, but they do Yeah, I don't remember. It. Yes, they do have it. I, but it, the stuff that we had was wonderful. It worked really well. Yeah, it, it's I awesome. I had no problems with it. Yes. Um, so anyways, I definitely um, think you guys should, if you have been buying your Caesar, your Oracle, your StarCraft anywhere else, uh, give them a try because I think you'll be pleasantly surprised on customer service and how quick you get your orders. It was funny. They had sent out an email um, just saying, you know, we had opened our group and we just, the story of, of this is just so weird. We had gone to the Silhouette Summit, didn't even know Troy was going to be there. And I know Troy going all the way back to when I first started my YouTube channel and he started, um, the story goes basically is his wife watched one of my videos, bought a cricket. Mm -hmm. Air, took it home. He started being the IT guy, started working on it, has the software work. So I knew him because he was posting videos back then. I did not know he owned 651 vinyl. We get to uh, Silhouette Summit and he happens to be there. And I was like, oh. And we spent an entire day in the pool just chatting with him and stuff like that. So it was very just a great relationship and it stuff. It was wonderful. Um, but it was just interesting to hear the insights and everything that goes into this because so many people, once he posted that email, reached out to me and goes, oh my gosh, they're who I buy my vinyl from or they're the who I buy my heat transfer from. So uh, for those of you who are already using them, I hope you continue to because it's great. It's a US born uh, business and uh, I don't know, I mean, what else would you like to say about them? Um, it's amazing. Like you said before, it's family oriented, it's family owned. It's that the way he has everything ran. It was a little rough in the beginning. Any new, any new place is gonna be rough when you start off with it. But he's worked out the kinks. He's got it down to a science and it's just amazing how everything works. People love working there. Um, it was amazing to see everything when we got there to actually see how it all works. Mm -hmm. And yes, he does have the new place and ba basically because it's doing so well, he needed a little more extra. So now he's got a, another place that's uh, going to be added on to it uh, for more things. Yeah, it was just so impressive just to see some of the stuff. And it's just, it was awesome. And they have a golden retriever, so who wouldn't love that? Yes. So, all right, guys, we're going to be using a lot of their products in our videos, their mm -hmm. printable stuff to make t-shirts and stuff. I will post our finished results of the printables on the shirts and my Wally, -E, just so you guys can see everything on the boomerang and stuff. Um, check them out. Definitely use the links down below. That will help our channel. I want to thank Troy and 651 and Tammy and everyone. Um, I want to thank all of their VIP affiliates that we got to meet there. Yes. We just had such a fun time. It was just a great... Yep. And Alex and Heather and a couple other people that were there with us. Uh trying to make that whole thing run. Sarah, nicely. everything, Sarah, yeah, yeah, like it's awesome. Yep. So it's definitely, if I ever release my own product line, where I would achieve to be, because it is something that it hit every core value I look for. Exceptional customer service, amazing shipping and yes. quality product. And talking about shipping, yes, they do ship to Canada. Yes, they do ship mm -hmm. to Canada. They so. do. All right, guys, if you have questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Yep. Um, 
And let's see here. No, thank you guys. And remember, we will be gone for about three weeks. Um, we will be heading to Dallas here in the next few days. We'll be there for about a week. Wednesday little, through Sunday. Wednesday through Sunday. And we will be gone from this channel for a few, few weeks. weeks. And why is that? We have all kinds of goody things going on. So we wanted to show you something real yes. quick. Hold on. Let me just get off of this. Here we go. Hey everyone, welcome to Ken's Creations YouTube channel. The place to find crafty reviews and inspiration. Here you will find reviews on some of the crafting industry's leading machines and a place where we feature some of our favorite brands. You're gonna find tutorials, unboxings, live videos, quick videos, and more. Um, and of course we'll have Ken, for, what is, ha what's happening? Oh, you told me that we're gonna be doing some uh, construction, so I got all my tools ready so we could uh, construct the area and whatnot. Okay, <laughs> so our YouTube channel is under construction. Oh. Not our corner. Not, not this, oh, I'm yes. sorry. I, I messed Welcome up, sorry about that. to my life, everyone. <laughs> So yes, we are gonna be under construction for about three weeks. During this time, we are going to be giving our YouTube channel a huge refresh. We asked and you guys answered and told us exactly what you're looking for. Now, of course, you're still gonna see all of our machine reviews, some of our most popular videos, and of course, overwhelmingly, we heard do not get rid of can from the car. Mm -hmm. So all of that will be staying. But we're going to do some reorganization, make some of the videos easier for you to find, and what we're most excited about, introduce new video series and a schedule so you know when to catch us. You're going to be able to see some brand new video series like Does This Really Work? where we go out and find some of the most popular crafting items and literally open them live and try to use them with all of you. Not only that, we're excited to bring back taste tests mm -hmm. and just a lot of videos that are ultimately, hopefully, going to make you laugh. Nice. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, is sitting back, crafting, relaxing, and laughing. So in three weeks, we will let you know when we went from under construction to a brand new Ken's Creations YouTube channel. During this time, we will still be on social media. Please feel free to reach out to us. And please, as always, share our channel so we can make sure we are getting crafting mm -hmm. inspiration and laughs to everyone out in the world. All right, guys. Thank you so much for all of the support and love over the past five years. We look forward to the next 50 years with you here on YouTube. And thank you for being patient while we're under construction. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. And always remember, go out there and create something, something magical. magical. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> so, yes, we are doing a major overhaul here on this channel. Mm -hmm. You're the first to see that trailer that's going to be going up tonight. We will be doing videos on our Chalk Couture channel, which is a separate channel. So if you do want to still see us live, don't worry, we'll be there. When we do come back to Ken's Creations, we, um, after doing some construction and rearranging, um, my main goal is to set a schedule, a monthly schedule, letting you guys know when we will be live, when we're uploading regular content. We are in the process of hiring someone to edit videos for us as we grow. Mm -hmm. And as always, we are flirting and always looking to the ideas of our own product line. So a lot of great things are coming. It is just working out all the kinks and stuff. Yep. So um, don't freak out for three weeks on this channel if you don't see a lot of stuff happening. We will be back and I guarantee you it will be worth the wait. So. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Once again, thank you very, very much to all of the employees at 651 Vinyl. They made our trip a blast. I have not laughed like that in such 
a long time. Special thank you, of course, to the amazing Troy, his wife, Tammy, and to Alex, Ashley, Laura, others. I'm trying to remember all the names. Oh, there were right, so many so people many that met. It was awesome. Um, we really, really appreciated and little it. Miss Molly. Yes, she oh, was the Molly. Yes, so she was awesome. Um, it was a blast, and uh, even though it was quick, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. So, thank right. you guys so much. We will see you soon. Have a wonderful evening, guys. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.